Well, here is Monty, a very sweet little Scotty boy who's about two. And I wanted to show the demarcation area between a saddle, which is here, and the skirt, and how it blends in. That I've made it very natural. He's groomed every month, and Stampy's. He leads a very active life, and in spite of that, his skirt and furnishings have grown out nicely and beautifully. Um, and so, this is what one tries to achieve with the blade. Sometimes I hand strip parts of his body around his head, his neck. Um, it helps with building the texture and the color but I generally use on his body a blade, and this is from his collar that's worn away the hair. But what I want to show here is how nicely it flows from his back into his furnishings. And that comes with choosing the right blade. If anybody sees this who's a groomer, or someone who has a Scotty, or another terrier for that matter, and wants to call me or email me, I can tell you some suggestions. Who sees this video on Kent's Canine's blog, Diary of a Dog Rumor, and about the pressure. So it's the size of the blade, the pressure, how to manipulate that. And his head is beautiful. It's quite beautiful. Sorry, sweetie Monty, you're a good boy. And so this is Monty, a little Scotty. He's very sweet. He's a baby boy. Even though he's two, he's a grown man now. And his skirt has really grown in nicely in spite of all of the activity he does outdoors. And um, it's a testament to regular grooming and conditioning. And so this is Monty, a Scotty with a haircut. And one last little look of the skirt, the saddle, back into the skirt. So it's very natural. It looks as almost as if he's hand stripped, but he's not. It's all done with blade work. Right, Sweet Pea? You're a good boy. I love you. All right, off to my next.